Hello, everybody. I am here today to talk a little bit about WordPress 5.0, um, most commonly known as the Gutenberg update. With this update, there's going to be some major changes and shifts in how you see and use WordPress. So let me get started right now with talking a little bit about what you see currently. So in 4.9, you see that you have your title bar up here, your link, your URL is right here, which of course you can always change, and you have the editor down below. If you have any custom options or anything like that, they will be below the editor, such as your SEO plugins and things of that nature, your categories on the right, and all of your settings on the right as well. Um, featured image and things like that. In the new version, it will look like this. So everything's going to be based on blocks. You're going to use blocks like you would Lego, and you're going to build your article or your page block by block. You can do columns, so you can do two and three column pages, um, and you can still have all of those other settings over here on the right. As you can see, the editor is very much smaller than it was before. Um, and the first time you log in, there will be this tooltip guide that kind of guides you through because it is vastly different. I'm going to go ahead and close this though, just so I can walk you through it a little bit here. Everything else is going to be the same. Your SEO is going to be on the bottom and, um, and, and all your other settings instead of being underneath are going to be on the right hand side. The other thing you'll notice that's different is the publish button is now at the top and you have a block settings tab. So now you have a tabbed system that you did not have before. So for this, I'm going to just type in Gutenberg and that is my title. And then I can start from here. So to add a block, I'm going to click the add block button. And as you can see, um, it's going to tell me the most used blocks, of course, paragraph being the absolutely most used block because most of what you do is paragraphs and images. You can also add a heading block. You can add a gallery of images. Uh, you can add lists, quotes, audio, covers, files. Um, but there's a plethora of options down here. So if you use Jetpack, they've got forms and maps. Um, all your common blocks are going to be right below. And then they've got formatting blocks. So if for some reason you need to add in a snippet of JavaScript or some HTML, you can do that here. If you need to add a table, you can do that as well. Um, they also have columns, media and text, page breaks and separators. So you can do that as well. And then they also have some widgets. So if you need to add in a uh, latest post widget because you want in the middle of your article to list five or six or two or three of your latest posts. You can do that as well. And then they also have a long list of embeddable items. Your Facebook feed, WordPress, uh, if you want to actually link over to like a WordPress.com site um, and list their articles in. SoundCloud, Spotify, Flickr. I mean, the list goes on and on of what you can add in. And then with Yoast, you can add in structured blocks. So if you use Yoast SEO, like we choose to do, and you may use a different SEO plugin and they may have blocks created as well, um, you can add in structured blocks. Now what this does is when you're Google searching for that snippet of information, if you have a structured FAQ, FAQ block, then it's going to let you, it's going to show up in the search as a structured snippet at the top. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind to know that that exists. Now, this gives you a lot more flexibility when you're going through everything. So let's see, this is a text block, right? And then I want to add an image. So let's choose one from my media library. So we're just going to select an image and then we're going to add more text. Now, if I click on this block, I have options. So this is a heading. I don't want it to be a heading. I just want it to be paragraph. So that's a text block. So this is your heading. 
Okay, now over here, you can see that we have all the settings on the right-hand side under the block tab. So I can see the heading settings. I can align the text the way I want. Up here with the paragraph, I can change the font size. I can um, add in an actual font size. I can drop cap it. So if I'm writing an article like in the old style newspapers, you can do drop cap. You can change your color settings. You can add an additional CSS class to call in an existing CSS class if you want to. The other thing is on when you're in the title, you can change your permalink, but the title has to be completed first. So up here, you can now see your link, which if you remember in the old editor was right here. So they have moved that. Um, but you are able to actually change that permalink as well. Um, over here on the right, uh, you can see the visibility and your publish, when it's going to publish. So what, where it says publish, that's actually the date that it's going to publish, whether it be immediately or in the future. Or you can also change it to the past if your articles are all ordered in date order. You can stick it to the front page. You can mark it as pending review if you have a review system that you use internally. Um, you can also change your, you can view your permalink right here. That's your preview, which used to be uh, preview changes. So that button moved as well. And then um, the other changes are pretty similar as far as having your categories there and your tags and your featured image. Um, and this functionality hasn't really changed one bit. Um, it just, it looks a little different, but it's still in the same spot that it was before. You can still write your excerpt, but instead of being under the editor, it's now to the right. Um, discussion settings are now to the right, and your post attribute settings are now to the right, as well as your likes and shares. All of that used to be under the editor before. Um, so you can still preview and you can hide your settings bar if you want to see things more in a almost full screen manner. Um, so the it's not vastly different, but it the actual editor is vastly different. So these are just some things to get used to, some things that are going to be changing. WordPress 5.0 rolls out uh, right now. They're saying Thursday, December 6th. So just know that these changes are on the way pretty soon. Um, but if that changes, of course, we'll let you know. If you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, thank you so much.